Imagine a world where electric sport motorcycling reigns supreme, defying conventions and revolutionizing the way people ride. Step into a future of mobility where adrenaline and sustainability converge in an inspiring symphony. This electrifying episode unveils the untamed spirit of Ultraviolet Automotive Private Limited, the trailblazers who redefine the boundaries of electric urban sport mobility. Experience an exhilarating journey as their daring vision, fueled by unbridled passion and cutting-edge technology, unfolds. Witness the inspiring revolution that Ultraviolet brings to life. Design and technology are core values for us at Ultraviolet and perhaps the core reasons why we exist as well. And from this perspective, if you look at a company like Tesla and what they've pulled off since the early 2000s till today, I could of course draw a lot of parallels to our approach at Ultraviolet as well. And uh, Tesla wasn't the first electric vehicle, but they for sure made electric vehicles desirable. And not too different from what we are currently on our way towards with the two-wheeler space in electric mobility. When we talk about Ultraviolet, the core DNA, um, the philosophy, it all comes from a sort of aviation um, inspired approach. And a lot of the folks in our team um, have come from various aerospace domains, right? Whether it's avionics development, avionics engineering, or you know, even mechanical structural parts of aerospace uh, engineering, right? So when it comes to the attention to detail, when it comes to you know, building for high performance, when it comes to building for particular weight targets, building for efficiency, um, there's a sort of functional honesty in terms of everything that we've built. Everything, every single part of the motorcycle is there to, to sort of meet an intentional, you know, functional requirement. It's not there purely for aesthetic reasons, right? That's kind of very similar to how the aerospace industry also works. So that's sort of the DNA and that combined with our interest for cutting edge technology, uh, you know, futuristic user experiences, that all comes together, you know, uh, to create uh, ultraviolet. In the realm of urban sports motorcycling, Ultraviolet Automotive Private Limited emerges as a force to be reckoned with. With an aviation-inspired DNA, they meticulously craft the Ultraviolet F77, a triumph of design and performance. Blending raw power and audacious innovation, Ultraviolet Automotive paves the way for a thrilling future of urban mobility on two wheels. When it comes to the design of the bike specifically, the F77 was designed to create a new identity for electric vehicles. Getting the bike and the frame in place was not the hardest part then. The first year was fundamentally spent on creating the most advanced sort of batteries that we could at that point. So 2016 and after 2017 was in validating the battery tech and a few months went into putting the vehicle around it. So we worked inside out in the initial phase, got that solved and that is when the both systems started developing parallel. And by that I mean probably I could also attribute it to the future of what India stands for, which is bold, progressive and sophisticated. Right? So all of these attributes were the important keywords that went into what the abstract version of the F77 was like earlier and then it got sculpted with a lot of the aerodynamic influences and testing coming into play to create a super streamlined uh, fighter for the roads. When it comes to performance motorcycles, when it comes to you know, sports performance motorcycles, for us at Ultraviolet, when we talk about performance, right, our bikes put out 30 kilowatts of peak power in an instant, right, at the twist of a throttle. Right? To be able to get that kind of performance, to get that kind of thrill, excitement, which is what consumers and riders in this particular segment crave for, I think there have been certain sort of um, engineering challenges um, which we have overcome over the last six years. The way to solve that is not by using any standard incremental approaches. We have to sort of do groundbreaking innovation from the very scratch to get to where we are today. And that's essentially what has happened. That's our secret sauce and that's the innovation that we've built out and that's what results in the kind of performance that excites everyone in this particular category. 
Unleashing unrivaled power and efficiency, the ultraviolet battery propels urban sports motorcycling to new heights. Experience remarkable distances of up to 206 kilometers or 307 kilometers on a single charge while enjoying the convenience of a rapid 5-hour charging time. This cutting-edge technology empowers the future of mobility with its unparalleled strength and efficiency. So when we started Ultraviolet, um, the battery was actually the biggest challenge to solve. Right? We went out there looking if anyone had solved these problems before and we found really there were no existing solutions to what we were trying to solve. And it has taken us a good six, seven years to solve a lot of these challenges and the battery technology has evolved over that time itself, right? When we started out, we were clear on a bunch of things, right? First, when it comes to safety, right? There are sort of five elements of safety that we, the way we look at it, five pillars of safety. There's electrical safety, there's electronic safety, there's mechanical safety, there is uh, structural safety, right? Now, for each of these, we had to engineer solutions. And over time, we started out with, you know, bikes that were intended to uh, provide 100 to 150 kilometers of range, right? So we had built out modular batteries that were solving all of these safety requirements, as well as meeting, you know, the range requirements of, you know, anywhere from 130 to 150 kilometers. Over time, and, you know, in, during the time of COVID, we sort of leapfrogged ahead in terms of innovation, right? We saw that we had uh, time to sort of go back to the drawing board, and build out what could have been, you know, and what today is now battery packs that are capable of, you know, exceeding 300 kilometers of range. So this again wasn't incremental innovation. It wasn't just, you know, just add more um, energy cells. It was about going back to the drawing board and saying that what is the maximum possible range that we can achieve on a motorcycle. While we had already achieved 130 kilometers, 150 kilometers, we were stretching our goals when we said we'll achieve 200. And then when we said we'll do something outrageous, how much more can we go? And that's why we ended up at the 300 kilometers, which is now on a production motorcycle that we have. In the heart of Bangalore, India, lies the ultraviolet factory spanning 70,000 square feet. Equipped with cutting edge technology and a skilled workforce, it produces a significant number of high quality electric motorcycles each year. Committed to sustainability and growth, it's a symbol of innovation and progress. So we start here at the beginning of the line with one of the most important parts of the F77, the battery pack. The battery pack is India's largest ever on a two-wheeler. And while we may not be able to enter the line, I'll just give you a glimpse of what happens on the inside. It starts with the cells. Now, although each cell can make it to a pack, V8 Ultralight believe that safety and reliability are one of the key metrics that we seriously have to track. And so it starts with segregation. Now all cells are segregated at various measures, including the dimensions and internal resistances. Once the segregated group of cells make it uh, to a module, the modules are spot welded together. After the spot welding, it makes it to an enclosure like this. Now this enclosure is IP67 rated. IP67 is sort of ensures that you can ride your F77 over various extreme terrains like heavy downpours and then uh, water clogged areas and you can do that you know stress free because we ensure every pack is IP67 tested at the end of line. Post the IP67 check we send it to cycling. Uh, cycling basically charges and discharges each battery pack and sort of measures every attributes and captures it so that we maintain traceability end to end. Now, this, all of these processes ensure that the pack is fully tested before it arrives here at the vehicle line. Let me take you to the next station. So in the next station, the battery pack is married to other parts of the vehicle, such as the main frame, the gearbox, the swing gum, the seat frame, the suspension. Some of the unique characteristics of this build is that this chassis is optimized to be very lightweight and you can see that other members are sharing load as well. So the gearbox not only houses the main motor, the gears, as well as several structural members that connect to it, providing it the integrity required for the F77 to perform the way it does. Let's move on to the next. This is where it becomes into a rolling chassis. By that, I mean the wheels, the brake hoses, the handlebars, all of them come in. 
and this is where the vehicle is ready to go into the next conveyor. Now we are here at the main line and uh, the main line essentially has all of the other components that make up the F77. It starts with the wiring harness and then has the headlights, the tail lights, the charging connector, including the motor controller. Now, the F77 is a fairly advanced and connected vehicle, which means that it needs to connect to the cloud. At this particular station is where we connect the vehicle to the cloud for the first time, load in all of the software parameters. It's calibrated, all of the settings are checked, and the vehicle goes live. So once the software is configured and calibrated, it is now ready for the bodyworks. The bodyworks start with the tank panel, the tail panel, the side panel, and all of the other small panels that you see here. And at this stage, it is now ready for the end of line checks. Each F77 undergoes rigorous quality checks at the end of line before it leaves the factory. One such quality test is the dyno test. Now on the dyno test, we check the ABS tuning, we check the brake performance, we check peak power, top speed, various other attributes, including the ballistic mode that you all love. So we are finally here at the last quality inspection station, that is the light tunnel. Now the light tunnel has enough light for us to thoroughly inspect the minutest of the minute detail, such as paint quality, panel gaps and all of those nitty gritty things. This ensures that each of the F77 is meticulously inspected before it rolls out of the factory. Ultraviolet's ambitious plans for growth and expansion are evident in their unique ultraviolet hangar, located in Bangalore, India. This state-of-the-art experience center showcases their innovative electric motorcycles with interactive displays, test rides and dedicated zones for retail and service, it offers an immersive glimpse into the future of transportation. We are actively in touch with the F77 community, going fast across the country and um, feels great to hear all the stories that um, the community members have uh, to share with us on a daily basis. The riding, the enthusiasm, the passion is far more than what, you know, we ourselves had anticipated and it's, it's quite infectious and uh, especially for us, seeing the bikes on the road on a daily basis, it, it's quite overwhelming. At the same time, it's, it's really exciting that what we worked so hard for last, say, uh, better part of six, uh, six and a half years is now out there and people are talking about the design of the bike, people are talking about the performance, the ballistic mode. These are, I think, you know, two or three aspects that everybody unanimously really resonates with and that gives us a deep level of satisfaction that right from time spent on the drawing board to what we've come out with now and seeing that resonate with a larger audience and that continuing to grow across the country and soon across the globe is really exciting and motivates us to move faster. Ultraviolet Automotive Private Limited not only redefines urban sports motorcycling but also embodies a new attitude for India and the world. With its cutting-edge technology and bold design, Ultraviolet reflects the spirit of a new India, driven by innovation and global excellence. Proudly made in India, Ultraviolet showcases the nation's capabilities to deliver world-class electric motorcycles that shape the future of mobility worldwide.